Hey everybody, it's me, Remy, the comic book poser, and I'm here today to welcome you to Enter the Poserverse. I've gone down a new Funko Collection rabbit hole. So see what's in the box, what line, and sweet, sweet Mercari, and find out where I'm going to just start setting a bunch of money on fire, because they'll never stop putting these pops out. Check it out after this. So I've been showing off a bunch of stuff that I found on Mercari. Uh, a lot of it has been comics or like a single pop here or there that I've been chasing. That's where I finally found a good deal on my Stan Lee as Hugh Hefner uh, from Iron Man. Uh, I, in theory, have a comic book guy coming along the way. But there's been a particular run of pops that I decided that I would wanted to get into as I started kind of honing down and focusing my collection right you can see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles behind me that's been pretty easy to pare down because most of the older runs of turtle stuff I'm just too poor to get some of those so they're gonna stay uh, way out of my wheelhouse uh, unless I find a ridiculously good deal on some of the OG turtles, some of the color turtles or the grayscale turtles, the metallic ones. Uh, I'm still looking for some of the chase uh, versions of the sodas. Uh, but most of the new stuff is still within my comfortable budget range. New stuff, nah, not unless I pull some kind of mega grail out of a mystery box and go, yeah, uh, I don't want it and I find a way to flip it to get something that I do. So I like how the person that I bought them from did make these nice protective shields in the first pop that I was going to take out to show off what line I'm picking out. It slid out, but the rest of them look like they're in pretty good condition. Uh, so I'm chasing the office. Uh, I don't know why I finally decided to bite the bullet on the office. Uh, but I just found myself kind of gravitated towards getting uh, a lot of these. So there's Daryl, uh, and that's my second Daryl that actually Mama J pulled one out of a box and I was like, ooh, and wanted it. Here's just the regular Michael Scott, and you see like some scuffing, uh, like where the plastic that holds Michael Scott like meets the, the window. What else we got in here? Like I said, big old box. This is one of the ones that I was uh, excited to see because I picked up this whole box for $60 shipped, um, which felt right. Um, I got some Bell Schnickel. Uh, this one is funny to me because my entire uh, extended family is in central Pennsylvania. My parents were raised in Pennsylvania, or born and raised in Pennsylvania. Um, so Belschnickel is something that I had always heard about if I were naughty. So there we've got regular Dwight. That's right, right now the only one that I think is a little bit more expensive to find is the Dwight as Bell Snickel that I know that I've seen that one individually go for 20-ish bucks. Here's Dwight as the Elf. Oh, and it just looks like it might be dust on the side, so maybe a quick, quick wipe of the plastic and I'll be good. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones that I've never seen it at a price I'd be willing to pay for it. You know, you can tell by my voice that I probably identify with Kevin because uh, I'm large and low energy. Uh, but Kevin with the, the chili pot, that is one of my favorite moments in the entire run of the show. Let's see, we've got three more. We got Basic Jim. Wearing his Dave name tag. 
I don't know if they make an Asian gym. Uh, that was one of my favorite gags of him trolling. Um, Dwight. We got basic Pam with her lovely cardigan and her snow white kids. And then the last one, I forgot that it was in here. But it's something that I've gone back and forth picking up a couple of times, and it's the Toby fighting with Michael two-pack. Uh, I like that because, you know, aside from Toby on the West Wing, which is where my oldest gets his name, every other Toby uh, that's on television that we watch either is kind of a dick or is the butt of jokes, right? So we've got... You know, Toby up from the office, so when we watch that and he hears Toby being yelled at, he's like, why is he yelling at me? Or what, Tobias Funke from Arrested Development. Um, I think Toby was watching, like the kids and my wife were watching an Alvin and the Chipmunks movie uh, where somebody named Toby got their head, like, dunked in a toilet. And he was like, they were mean to Toby, so, I mean... I've cursed him with being a pretty big dork, but I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, uh, I didn't curse him with, you know, bad names, but this was a pickup that I was a pretty big fan of for, like I said, $60, $65 shipped, uh, so I've got, you know, Jim, Kevin, and the Toby Michael 2-pack. Basic Pam. Dwight is the elf and Belschnickel, which we'll go with. I have two of the Recyclopses and one of the Dwight with the Jello mold. Basic Dwight, a second arrow, which means I'll probably take one out of the box and find a way uh, to display it, and then it wouldn't be the office without Basic Michael. But I was excited to find this huge lot because I know when I was pricing some of these out individually on like Entertainment Earth or on Mercari or, um, you know, a couple of different like spastic, uh, you know, other places that have like a la carte pops, that some of these were still running eight to ten bucks a piece. I know I was not willing to pull the trigger on that Toby Michael two pack that I've seen it fluctuate from like. 20 to 35 dollars on all of the places where I kind of hunt so I was excited to find these but I know by narrowing down my collection I now have drank the Kool-Aid on you know a show that's been off the air for several years yet they keep making it rain pops but you'll see it pop up on the the shelf behind me once I find a good way to display them and clean out some more of the school books and take them back to my classroom. Uh, the one thing that I'm looking to go with this is I want one of the uh, Adventures of Jimmy Halpert comic books to kind of sit in the front uh, to marry my two collecting passions in the same way that I've got the turtle stuff together. So if you know where to find a good copy of that or have any other ideas of something that I can kind of put with the pops to show a well-rounded love for the office, let me know. I'd love to do that. But you think this was a good good haul at $60 on, on the old Mercari? You think uh, I overpaid for some, underpaid for others? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if there are other office pops that I should be hunting down, but once I get everything situated, you'll get a good taste of what I do and do not have already. Uh, but yeah, let me know what kind of money pit specific line you are into as well, where they're constantly churning out new stuff and they've They've got you by, by the nuggets that you can't say no to every time you see a new pop from a line. Let me know if there's one that I should stay away from, unless your uh, answer is the office, because we already know that I'm screwed there. So as always, thanks for stopping by, and have a good one.